Hurry up, Vickers. Everyone, please go down. I'm here. Diana is both. Well, thank you. Hey, Diana. Hey, I love you. Download once now. Yeah, download it. Oh, my gosh. It's I literally, it's only been, literally been downloading for a couple of hours, and it's the most incredible feeling ever. Like, thank you guys so, so much. And honestly, Facebook, tell everyone to go and get it. Diana Vickers wants. Yeah, I'm counting on you guys. I can see Diana. Hi. The claw. Oh, you. You're finally here. I look you, Giorgio Costa. I think you meant to say love, but I look you too. Finally, Winton. Hey, Emily. Yay! Um, why was it Magic Mirror on the album, Philip? Because I wrote Magic Mirror when I was like 10 years old, and um, and it, it wasn't written for the album. So yeah. Are you going to have any meet and greets in Edinburgh? I think we are, right? Maybe, yeah, after the after the, my shows, I always like, go out and, you know, sign things and say hello to everyone, so I shall see you then, um, Olif Oliphant. Daniel, you are beautiful, amazing. You're very cute, little Mark. Um, Emily, this is so great. Ellis Keating, I love you. Love you too, King Bristol. I can't see her. Hi. Daniel, you're quite literally the greatest person, like, ever. Georgie, thank you. You are in my top ten now. Diana, do you still give Mr. Cheryl? Um, well, actually, she actually sent me a lovely message the other day saying how proud she was of me and um, and the album and saying that she was, no, really, really loved the single and she thought it was a really good hit. So, yeah, that's lovely of her. Um, hey, what do you think of Lady Gaga, Kazos? I think Lady Gaga's great. I think that the house of Gaga, just Team Gaga, are absolutely incredible. Like, just like, it's, you know, all the clothes and the, the setups, you do, I find it amazing. Are you really going to make knickers? Uh, Curtis, yeah, well, there's talks of it. I don't know as of yet, but we think it's a really cool idea. We've put it out there. We're gonna see if we can work with it, and maybe you'll see some Vickers knickers. Get yourself some of them knickers. Um, Diana, will you marry me? That is a question, Philip. Um, I don't know whether I'm available right now. <laughs> okay, where else is that? I need to scroll down. Any plans to do a little boy skin in the future? Um, I do know, you know, not not right now. I think it was a really amazing while it lasted, and it, you know, I've got some really really great memories of it. And yeah, maybe not, but it was absolutely amazing. Of course, with Leona Lewis, I never met Leona Lewis, but she should be my management. So I think one day I might meet her. Actually, I said hello to her once at X Factor, but I haven't had a proper conversation, so no, I'm not very close with her. Would you, Brendan? Would you go back on X Factor if you had the chance? If it depends how far I went. Like, say I got to like like Gigi's house or something I'd probably try it again but I mean I'd never do it again because I've already done it once and but I mean it was an amazing experience and I recommend it to anyone out there who definitely you know wants to be you know a singer a musician I really really recommend it it's a really amazing platform and an amazing experience what do your parents think about everything you've done so far honestly they are so proud of me like my mum literally gets excited about the littlest thing like she works in M&S in Blackburn and like literally like they're like team vicars all the time and my mum's just so so proud of me definitely yeah she's a proud mummy Becca Griffiths do you still wear no shoes and performances haha -ha. we love you on the X-Factor thank you Becca no I've sort of been able to manage heels now you know I like to mix it up a bit when I'm feeling a bit more casual when I'm being a bit more comfortable mood with them off if I'm you know on my tour I've been wearing some sexy dresses with high heels and stuff and yeah mix it up a bit I say any more tours Danny yes tour coming up in May so get yourself some tickets on my website Um. Yeah, and good festivals coming up, so get yourself some tickets for a really good festival this summer. What's your favourite Damien Rice song, Emily? Oh, I, I, I probably love The Boy's Daughter. I sing that for my ever first audition on X Factor, and I love that because I've got mem really great memories with it. That song, you know, that song helped me get where I am today. <laughs> um, where do you live in England? Well, now I'm living in London, but I'm from Blackburn. Bub bu bubbly Chloe, what's your fashion look? I love the vintage look. I'm really, I'm really like 60s at the moment. Like I love everything, like bright colours and the high hair and the 60s eyes and the lovely little coats. Like, I'm really, I'm 60s all the way at the moment and just like vintage and yeah, I've said that. I repeat myself a lot. Hello, Kieran and Natalia and Diana and everyone. Woo! Um, can you sing for us, please? Once, <laughs> once, yeah, go download it now. <laughs> um, 
What? This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Oh, and I've added a new date as well to my tour in Cardiff, which I'm really excited about. So make just keep checking my website and stuff and keep on the updates. Um, oh my God, it's going so fast. Do you like Glee? I love Glee. I really love Glee. Glee. At first, I really, really dismissed it. And I was like, oh, this is really, really cringe. And like, I can't be doing with this. But I, I love it. I'm a sucker for Glee now. What football team do you support? Baby Gracie. Um, Blackburn Rovers. I'm from Blackburn. Blackburn Rovers. Yeah. Woo. What food, Chris, 1445, what food do you like the most? Um, I love pancakes. I love chocolate. I love I love Pop-Tarts. I love Chinese. I love curries. I love pasta. I love everything in the world. Um, what's your favourite colour? Ooh, I love so many colours. I really, really do. I love, I'm really into like pinks, like reds and... And like no blues, I love turquoise. Oh, I don't know, I love so many colours. I love red roses. Um, X three K C. Are you talking with JLS? I am supporting some of the, some of their gigs yeah, in summer, which I'm with five dates. I'm supporting JLS in July. summer in July. So again, keep on that Wednesday. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. EastEnders or Corey? Corey, I love Corey. I'm a Northern bird, aren't I? So I love the Coronation <laughs> Street. Corey, Jamie. What's your fave kind of tea in Dior? And uh, my favourite kind of tea is milky, two sugars, English breakfast, builder's tea. Pablo, Hannah, hey dude. Hi Sina, so you think I'm in a little voice, it's amazing. I'm the one who stood up with the banner. I know who you are. Hope you well, dude. Team Edward seen Jacob. I'm not particularly, I'm definitely Robert Pat all the way. He, I don't find the other like, I, I, it's not my type at all. Like, I don't see that at all. Robert Pat's gorgeous. My sister is obsessed, but obsessed with Robert Pat. I'm not like scarily obsessed, but I think he's a very good looking boy. Happy birthday, Kieran, as well, Hello. tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, you have a good one. Ah, favorite chocolate? All oh, chocolate, dairy milk, galaxy. I really liked those caramel eggs that were out as well. Mini eggs. Tasters, tasters, get me a pack of tasters any day. Tom Tomalin, how you dude? From Tom Tomalin in Richmond. What was your most important thought and goal when you're recording your album? Tom, wheelchair user often. Hey. Ah, how are you doing, pal? I don't know. What, what, what do I have? Most important thought and goal. Um. I don't know, it was just sort of to make something that I was really, really proud of, and just to have fun while I was doing it. Like, like, yeah, just, yeah, just to find my own sound and become my own individual artist, and, and just to have fun when I was doing it, just to really make something I was proud of, yeah. What's your middle name, Laura O'Neill? I actually don't have a middle name. My mum was going to give me yeah, Louise, Diana Louise Vickers, and then, but yeah, I don't have, I do not have a middle name, no. Hey Diana Scott, 1991. Hey Diana, you're brilliant. The reason why I like music today. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's really sweet. Are you gonna release an album after the first one? Um, you've got my album coming out on the 3rd of May, which I'm very, very, very excited about. Um, and that was really, really sweet. Jazz George Get, I know when you coming to Manchester. I'm coming to Manchester in my tour soon. I really, really can't wait. How long does it, Paige Williams, how long does it take you to make a video? Oh, a really long time. Probably like a good, was it 19 hours or something? Like probably a good 19 hours and it was really, really amazing. Like shooting your first video is absolutely incredible feeling, but you know, it's not all glamour. There's a lot of hard work, definitely. Um, can you say hi, Lily from London? Hi, Lily from London. Do you like wooden coat hangers? Yeah. Kieran from Bristol. Hey, Annika. <laughs> yeah, one more question, guys, and then I have to go. Michael talks to Brian. Why did your mum call you Diana? I like this. I like this ending question. Um, because um, she's really, really torn. She was actually going to call me Sally. Um, well, I know she was uh, the constant point was to call me Sally or Diana. And um, my grandma, um, my grandma was alive. My grandma really, really loved the name Diana. And my mum really loved it. And I think it was a whole Princess Diana thing as well. And she just thought it was a really, really pretty name. But she was torn between Sally and Diana. But I think my grandma gave her that extra kick and was like, it's got to be Diana. And then Princess Diana as well. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, guys. I'm going to shoot off. I've got a busy time ahead. And remember, please keep downloading. And um, yeah. And all my love to you. Thank you so much, gang. Take care. Enjoy the sun.